Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. And today I'd really like to focus on this beautiful gospel from Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. Probably a parable you've heard about and just want to unpack it. So Jesus says, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. And after greeting them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into the vineyard. And then he went out at nine o'clock and hired more, at 12 o'clock and hired more, at uh, three o'clock and five o'clock. And then when he starts paying them, he starts paying them in reverse. You know, the ones that were hired at five who worked one hour gave them the full day's wage. So everybody who heard that thought, we're going to get some more. Paid the three o'clock people the same as the five o'clock, the noon, the nine, and the dawn. Everybody got the same pay. And of course, uh, they weren't happy. They grumbled against the landowner. And, uh, he's, and Jesus says, my friend, I'm not cheating you. If you think about this in terms of what God wants to give us, eternal life. Did I not agree? Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. So I want to make five points on this, uh, this gospel. The first thing is that, that God calls us. You know, a lot of the, the workers here were idle and it's God who initiates the call. And St. Augustine said, our hearts are restless until they rest in you, God. And when he invites us and we encounter him, our, our lives are, are never the same. And so to think about that, have I accepted God's invitation to follow him? Do I have a relationship with Jesus? Do I have a relationship with the Holy Spirit that was given to me in my baptism? Or if I'm not baptized, do I want that relationship? The second thing is this, this idleness. You know, Jesus asked, why, why do you stand here idle all day? And they said, because no one has hired us. Um, we as missionary disciples are called to be the Lord's hands and feet and voice in this world. Think about that. If you may be the person that God is sending to invite someone else to be a follower of Jesus, you can say, well, that's none of my business. I used to think that way, especially, uh, you know, when I became vocation director, I thought, you know, who am I to ask somebody to follow, you know, the Lord as a, as a priest? But I know as I reflected on my own life, if certain people had not invited me to consider not only following Jesus, but to be a priest, I probably wouldn't be here. We have the freedom to say no. People have the freedom to say no. But if nobody invites, then maybe there's lives that will be impacted in a very negative way uh, by not being a follower of Christ. So there's people out there who are idle, who have not yet been invited into discipleship with the Lord, and maybe God is using us to invite. So I want you to pray about who is God asking me to invite to be his disciples. The third point, God is generous with his grace. You know, who are we to say how God uses uh, his grace? If he wants to give somebody who converts on their deathbed, the same as somebody who's followed the Lord, you know, their whole lives, you know, so be it. What God wants is that we all be saved. The ultimate pay is the same. It, it's heaven. Um, and if God gives you heaven, it doesn't take away from what he's given me. Um, and so uh, let us allow God to be generous with his gifts. The fourth, fourth point is God wants to dispel jealousy. This isn't about, I always say, comparing leads to despairing. So it's not about what everybody else gets. You know, don't be looking at everybody else. You know, think about how am I doing with the Lord? And then as I receive, I'm called to give. Freely I have received, so freely I'm, I'm to give. But don't compare yourselves to others. God created you just the way he, he wanted, and uh, he invites you to be his follower, not worrying about everybody else. And lastly, this is the second time we, we've heard this week, the last will be first and the first will be last. Sometimes we can get pretty high on our horse thinking, I'm pretty good. I've got it all together and glad I'm not like, you know, that, uh, you know, the poor tax collector or whatever. No, God calls us to be humble. 
God calls us to put others first. And humility is, I don't think less of myself. Humility is, I think of myself less. And so as we reflect on this gospel, I want, I want to ask a few questions. Have, have you accepted the Lord's invitation to turn away from sin and to be his faithful disciple? Um, are you working in God's vineyard or are you standing idle? Um, do you compete for others' attention? Do you compare yourself to o- others? Or do you allow yourself to be God's beloved son or beloved daughter, not worrying about you know, what everybody else is getting? So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for inviting us to be laborers in the vineyard whether it was at 6 a.m., 9, noon, 3 p.m., or 5 p.m., or or 5.59, if if it ends at 6. Thank you for inviting us and giving us the grace. Help us to say yes. Not only that, help us to invite others to, to be fellow disciples of your Son, Jesus. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.